Hey Floss Tube, it's Kerry and Stitches. It's Friday the 14th, 11th of September. Yeah, whatever. This is Floss Tube number 80. It's my Floss Tube anniversary. Yay. Welcome if you are a new um, viewer. It's great to have you here with me. Um, leave me a comment and tell me, tell me how you came across my channel. It's always nice to know. Um, welcome back if you are a returning um, viewer. It's lovely to have you here with me and yeah uh, yeah so this is my third 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 floss tube anniversary get the get the words out in a minute um so let's think quick recap not planned at all so uh first i was doing drawn thread christmas piece uh, some of the drawn thread freebies um they're, they're all finished um yeah, uh, I don't think I, I showed a couple of old FFOs. I coughed a lot. I don't think I have any of those. Well, I, I certainly don't have any of those left as any any of those whips that I showed then um, as whips now. So that's a good thing. Yay! Uh, I still, I think I still my my stitching is still very eclectic as uh, as it was then. So. Not a lot's changed. I've discovered a lot of new designers. Um, I made uh, lots and lots of friends and a couple of really good friends. And I think that's the most important thing that's come out of this. So there will be uh, a floss tube giveaway um, in not in two weeks' time uh, because I wasn't organised enough. The kids have gone back to school. I've gone back to working in the office. So it's all been a kind of a crazy, crazy fortnight. Um, but absolutely shattered it has really been right tiring so um yeah oh the hamsters come to say hello too so we could have yeah she's gonna gnaw on the bars now so yeah yeah so i apologize for background noise it's the hamster can't do a lot about it she hears voices and she's come her um she has a little platform in her cage which is right by my uh, work from home desk. And she spent most of the summer, uh, she'd hear me sit down and start typing. 10 o'clock, she'd come and sit there and just look at me. So, yeah. What, could, what can you do, pets? It, it could be a cat butt in the camera. These things happen. So, good morning to you, Sherbert. Uh, let's crack on with some what we've been up to today we've got fo's ffo's plans 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 galore uh a little few purchases here and there um lots of whips yeah so let's let's go for it let's oh there's a cross stitch flip through today as well so that's three minutes my glass is filthy can't see so i've got to finish let's just do that let's do that on the right side so I finished Lindy Stitches on Wood Noble Steed. There we go. It's on a Mystery Pole Stitches fabric. And it's stitched in a bit of Corfall. A few additions here and there. So the Dino Gator, that's what I'm calling it, is Weeks Kudzu, which was Stephanie's uh, suggested alternative. Little Girl is stitched in... Weeks Direwitz Aster and the scaly spiky things and the words are Hocus Pocus by Jodry Designs. Oh. There we go. And I hopefully we'll get him FFO in the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna try and keep on top of my FFO now. I've got a box full again. So that's that. Oh, fiddle, I didn't bring one in. I'm going to insert a picture. I stitched this little freebie, be kind freebie, because I needed it for a challenge, as you do. I needed something with a K in the title, uh, one of the words beginning with K. So this was, excuse me, this was be kind. Uh, and that this is, and I FFO'd it pretty much straight away too. So I'm going to insert a picture of it here. Just a little pillow finish with some really bright fabric that um, Sharon sent me in a swap a while ago. So um, it's stitched in 
Sparkly's Spring Fling thread, um, which I fussy cut. So basically I cut the yellow out to use that for the sunflowery, flowery, whatever it is on the corner. And the rest of the words are all in the, in the Spring Fling and I didn't bring it in. And I left it on my, deliberately left it on my desk on purpose. The other FFO you might have seen the corner of here, Main Street, my custom oh what's that in the camera there you go so i had the custom frame done uh from the cabin uh i was really pleased with it uh it's a yeah really nice frame so really quick service I had the frame frame was made for me within a week it just took me two weeks to pick it up um i've laced it and everything myself i wasn't going to keep the glass in but the frame depth was really good because I've used foam core to lace it, so it's not even so it's quite thick and it still fits flush. So with the glass and the, mat, uh, the foam core and the backing board on, so super impressed with that. I love it. Main Street will be on the wall in the next couple of days. Um, I know where I'm and I know where I'm hanging this one. I still haven't found a home for this one yet. So um, yeah. I may end up taking down um, my black work because it's a bit smaller and putting it up there, so I don't know. Um, and Cityscape's on the wall just over there, which is lovely, so I can get to see it when you walk down the stairs and I can see it from, if the door's open, I can see it from a stitching chair. So, Lottie's suggestion, perfect spot for it. So, we've got a bit of a, a little bit of a rearrange with the things in the living, uh, in the dining room. Um, Parker Munster's has found a new home on the stairs, which is lovely. It's works perfectly there um we put my little tiny i don't think what it's called satsuma street postcard it's the mini cities of london is now above the door i swapped a couple of my black work bell pulls around so it's looking really good I'm really really pleased with it um I need to buy some more command hooks but hey i also have taken apart um Needles Dance and Weather of Bees to do it properly, to get them laced and done properly and I've got places to hang those too. So hopefully lots more stitching on the wall in the next couple of weeks. Um, I brought a reel, I don't know if it's in yeah, I brought a reel of the um, Gutterman upholstery thread, uh, which has been absolutely fantastic for lacing. Um, I was using just cards of linen thread before uh, for upholstery linen thread, but it just was, it was expensive for what it was and I just picked a taupe one I don't know if I had any choice in colour I think I just picked this because it was neutralish and uh, it's kind of my go-to colour for neutral so it's just that stuff and it was 100 metres so that was a in fact, really good for lacing it's really strong um, it's 100% uh, is it polyester thread yeah 100% polyester and it's just a really nice strong thread so that's my lacing um right so that's main street main street is country cottage oh, yeah. i'll just pop it back here for a minute oh. country cottage needle works um stitched in the called for on the called for which was star sapphire um predominantly dc and dmc with a couple of classic color works threads um which were the called for uh, uh four leaf clover and cocoa bean i think they were and with my Gilmore Girls editions. So uh, let's pop there for now. There we go. Move you across a bit. There we go. Is that going to fall off there? Probably. There we go. And the cushion's falling off my chair. So we'll just push it on the floor. There we go. Right. Let's quick rearrange and we're back. So, um, whips. I've been busy, 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 busy stitching. Um, been stitching on Alice. Thank you to those who watched my stitch along. It was, I'm getting used to doing them. It's, you know, Alice, it now looks like, if you didn't watch it, this is now Alice. Oh, um, there we go. So I have completed the border, uh, except for I'm back stitching it as I go with the stuff like, oh, let's just do that around the roses and things like that. And as you can see, we now have Alice in the corner. 
so that top section now is this com is completely done because I've done all the have a look. yeah and I've done all the back stitch around it so that's all completely done so we move on to the tweedles next and I shall get probably get to those this weekend uh, that's stitched on 18 count parchment Zweigart and in the call for. Uh, it's Cross Stitcher Magazine's 2020 Cell by Amanda Butler. And there's uh, a character in every magazine. It started in February issue, uh, February issue in, oh, which was 353. Three. There we go. And there were just three more characters to be released. October, November and December. Right. And we've lost you with that stray bit of thread. What else have I been working on? Well, these are all new starts since you saw me. So I said I was going. To... I love me my shells group. So I needed. We did a big black. We did bingo in August, a sort of bingo, and basically had to come up with a prompt uh, for a designer name for the word bingo. Uh, so I picked. This one, uh, which is O Ten and Bound by Brenda Gervais for with her needle and thread. So I got the G and the N. So and then I we also needed uh, so we had the word blanket uh, for the design. Uh, and this is O Ten and Bound. So it just had to be one word. So like when I said the B kind, that was K, and this was the T. Uh, so I started. I started. I mean, I needed. And then we had something in the design for the word beach. For, so for the letter E, so for C and E, so we had, I did cabin for the house and use for the sheep at the front. And this is where I got to. So I'm kind of, I did it in my own conversion. I must remember to order that. Make note to self, order red rocks. I'm going to write it on here because this is where my order is. Okay. I pop side for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so those are the kind of those are the colours I came up with. I may have shown you this last time. I'm not sure I completed it. So I've just literally just put put it together and a lot of the colours were ones that we used in Jack Frost Tree Farm. So, anywho, there we go. I'm stitching this on a Sparkly's Mystery Thread uh, fabric, even. And uh, it does show you, tell you how to lay it out properly, and then you can cut it out to do the box. And I found a very similar box um, on Amazon, which just needs a bit of finagling to get it to be the right thing. So, this is 18 count Ada, and that's where I got to. And that's just over a thousand stitches. So pleased with that. That was that came that stitched up really quite quickly. So just some and one more sheep and a couple of small trees across the bottom and in the snow. And finish the cabin. A couple of snowflakes in the sky. Jobs are good and jobs are good. And. So there we go for that. That's o, uh, o Tenenbaum. That looks like apple cider. Stone Street Stitchworks, uh, the MLK sampler. Done a colour conversion. I think I did show this one. So this is my colour conversion. So that's weeks and a sparkly thread. And not a lot, but this is this is on PTP Pewter. I was gifted. Isn't that lovely? So please about how that's going. That's just one strand as well. Oh, itchy nose, Frosty, itchy nose. This is my daily 30 project. So I try and, I'm, well, as of two days ago, I tried to stitch on it for 30 minutes every day. Um, I'm hoping that that way that will see me with a good finish. So 
Okay. And my last piece is something else that I said I was starting, which is the tiny modernist Christmas cell. Again, gifted to me by a friend. Made so many mistakes on that. I was drawing them. You can't really see. But there are white borders in there. Let me try and get a bit closer. Can you see them? Yes, you can. I'm actually stitching it in one strand because I can. So there we go. So this is a bit of a mixture of a called for DMC. The it's got a, um, so oh that's what it looks like. So that's parts one and two out as well. And I thought it was really lovely. Cheryl does include, so we've got a cardinal in the corner and she included a robin because that's more of our British winter bird. So I can't decide whether to stitch the cardinal or the robin. I might go robin. Oh, I've lost your itchy nose, terrible. Right, so that's all my whips. I've been, I feel like I've been quite busy. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all of them. Plans, it's plans, plans. Stitch on all the so basically I'm I, I expect to hit every single one of those whips in the next fortnight. Um and I'm also going to have a new start, which is here. Because I need it for one of my um two one of my stitchy challenges, and I'm gonna start mischief managed. And it's gonna be stitched on black, 14 count ada. Um, in yellow and taupe because Hufflepuff so those that's for that what else have we got so let's move on to Let's put that in there. Huh? Things that I've acquired recently. That's what we're going to call it. Things that I've acquired recently. We don't like that one. Um, so I, on my way back from work on Monday, my first day in the office, um, I happened to walk past. We have a road in our city centre which is has a large concentration of charity shops. Let's put it that way. Uh, and there are maybe six or seven on there and it's a quite it's a short road there are probably literally every other shop is a charity shop um, so one two three one two three four five six seven yeah there's about eight um, and I was walking back towards the um, hubs was picking me up and I was basically I walked past this one charity shop I'm like, pop in quickly. just just quickly you know I always remember when McKenna said she kind of had a feeling when she needed to go in. So I went in and I found, to be honest, this is for a, 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 a British one. This is a fantastic, absolutely amazing haul. I mean, I know people have found Lady of the Flag and like out of print mirrors for, for a dollar and things like that. But this, this was pretty good going. Um, Usually it's a cover kit from a magazine and a couple of cheap skeins of um, unbranded thread. That, that's kind of the level we usually get at. But no. First of all, I saw... Sorry about that. The camera just fell off the stand. The tripod. Okay. So first of all, I found just a, this little cross-stitch um, wooden plaque. It's, I mean, it's a cover kit from Molly Makes, but... Uh, and didn't have any of the instructions, but I figured I can figure it out from the cover, so that's fine. Um, and I'll probably change the colour because uh, pink, not my colour. Um, then I saw three little Ziploc bags, so I had a quick look at them to see what was in it. And then one, I, I have taken them all out and ironed them all and everything. Well, ironed them in a quick fashion. Had as well got needlework, and I thought, oh. Okay, so it was basically just some 18 count Ada and a, a, a bookmark cut. So I was like, okay, well that's fine. For the price I paid, it's fine, just dye it. You know, it's, 
you never know, and just need that little ornament cut. Awesome, right? Then, and then, then the next one. All right, the next. Let's go that way. So the next bag contained not very good colour thing, but next bag contained this massive piece of taupe, and I could see. Um, I couldn't see. They were folded. The bags were uh, tiny. They're that size bag, so it was folded up really small, and I could just see that there was a big taupe piece of linen in there, and this white one. So, which actually does have a mark on the middle of it, but I figured it again, the white I can dye. Um, so I was like, well, for that price, I'll take them home and have a look. So that's one pound fifty. And then I found another bag which didn't have a price on it. So I was like, oh, okay, same size bag, but I could see four pieces of linen folded up in it. And there was a, the pewter grey, blue. green and a pale pink so um this piece here as you can see it's quite a big piece so obviously I had to cut out the bottom of it well, is about uh, 20 by 16 and the other pieces the grey definitely fits along there so i'm assuming somebody's cut it at some point for a thing 80 17 by 11 so fat eight sixteenths fat sixteenths there we go, I remember that. And based on the fact that that's Zweigart, and I know that Zweigart does do a colour range with the the grey, the blue, the sort of the sage colour and the pink. My money is on them being Zweigart linen. It's 32 count. It looks really, it looks even. And because it didn't have a price on the bag, but I picked up the other two, I wasn't gonna bring a home yader. But I thought, well, he might, uh, I don't know what they're gonna charge me for the one that didn't have a price. And I didn't want him to go, oh, you clearly know what you're looking for, kind of, mm, let's charge you a silly amount of money. So I took the 75 pence, the two 75 pence bags, and because all three bags look the same, he went, oh, 75 pence. I went, yes. So two pounds 25 for all the fabric and 50 pence for the little kit. I was absolutely made up. So, and the fact that the, um, the, the oh come on Kerry the Ada is is DMs is a Zweigart and the ones definitely got the Zweigart orange band I'm suspecting that they are all Zweigart so yay for a bargain charge stop I went in again on Wednesday just in case but no no nothing there today so but I shall um I should definitely keep an eye out because it's a you know, but that was where we it was the same shop that we found all the key rings in a while ago so either they've had a crafter stash at some point um so i think it's going to be worth keeping an eye out in there uh my sparklers came in uh 30, 30 oh those are 32 counts did i say that yeah so um those are my two this week dr smith tonic and belly bonds i've already got a belly bonds so but it's a fantastic sort of sandy neutral so they're great um for a couple of PDF patterns. So I showed you Tiny Modernist came through. I bought two of Doreen Jones's. She had a sale in her Etsy store. So as you may may not remember, a while ago I bought the B Pendibule. And this was the other one. This was one of the other ones in kind of that coordinated. So I picked up that one and that one. So they all coordinate together, so I thought they'd be a nice, nice set to stitch with the bee pin. And they are really aren't. It's 60, uh, 60 by 60, and without showing you the chart, because of what you sew, there's a massive white space, so you're only actually sewing two corners of that chart. So, um, I shouldn't take that long to do, I wouldn't have thought. I'm going to sew those at some point in the future. New Barbara Anna release came out, that's the number five. So that's where we're up to. Have I started it yet? No. Have I got the thread for it yet? No. But it only takes 10 scans DMC. So End of the month, I'm going to have a big order because I need. I'll tell you about something else in a minute. Um, I 
I printed up a couple of freebies this week uh, that I saw on um, various people have posted them on. Oh, come on, Karen, Instagram again. Uh, yeah, so this is by Jardin Privé. Yeah, so that's the chart, but it's um, yeah, Jardin Privé. You can get that from their website. And this one is from Owl Forest Embroidery. I kind of like the Quakerness, the, the way that they've done the pump, it's kind of very Quakerish. And I just love this little tiny bit here, and I, I kind of feel like I might just stitch the crow and the little, the couple of, the little pumpkin pair, or oh, pumpkin gourd and another one in the back, just as a little thing on its own. But those two are both freebies, so uh, I will, oh, I'll link them below. That's very miranda -y there. Right, cool stitcher. Oh, sorry, I wonder if that bell noise goes on. So, cover kit. I do like that little deer, he's very sweet. And then the start of their new Christmas stitch along. I don't like that. Okay, so cover, there we go. There's the deer, he's really sweet. Uh, that's the Susan Penny design. He's cute. I will. I think. I think he'll definitely go into the box of things I'll stitch eventually. You know what I like. Um, and they also start their new three-part one, but I'm not stuck on that one, so I won't stitch that one. Although I do quite like part two. Mm. Well, I, it, that might be one that I wait. Don't like the tops of that blue bow. Really, is not my cup of tea. I'm just looking. That might be as one I stitch a section of. We'll see. We will we'll see. Oh, okay, that's part of what I got. Fat balloons. Oh, so my colours there. Love that. Right. So we've got the contents page. I didn't say this is issue two thirty two. Again, this is issue 362. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ignore me. Uh, Stitching with Jess, there's a dinosaur bookmark, but it's just the chart, so I'm not showing you that. Willow, uh, Willow Fabrics Offers. The, I must kit these up ready for next year. The little, um, the monthly ones. I do like these a lot. They're so cute. Um, that will definitely be all of them. I mean, there's a couple that I want to change little bits about them, but as a rule, I really love them all. Giant Crown. This is another one of those Rico punched cushions. So, um, on which is a four count uh, pre punched felt thing. So, So apparently the Rico punch cushions have a stitching area of 62 by 62. So any small design can be used to stitch a cushion. Well, there you go. There you know. Right, Halloween band sampler. It's actually quite a cool design, quite like that. It's quite a funky Ada, I'm trying to see. Uh, oh, vintage lavender. Um, and it's designed by Faye Walsh. And so this isn't a very good picture. They've just gone. But there we go. We've got some Christmas cards and ornaments in a kind of Scandi style with blues and reds. Let's see if I can find a close up of. Right. Okay. Where's something? There we go. So that's the kind of. There we go. That's a better look at one of them. But there's a fox and a rabbit and a dove. Polar bear, reindeer, little snow globe. It's the Emma Congdon ones. Uh, Noel and tree and an angel and a little, little ornament. And they tell you how to do cu cookie cutter ornaments. So. 
uh, an interview with Leah Lintz, uh, author of Cross Stitch to Calm. We've got the just the chatty chatty pages, like reader letters and things. Um, that's quite clever. Oh, just making mannequin. Um, by Sharon McKinnon, tiny modernist. I mean, you could even cheat and not do the stitching now and just use one of those cross stitchy ribbony things. Not cross stitch, you know, like the tape measure ribbons. We have got alphabet. I feel like I've never done a flip through before. Autumn alphabet. I like that. Folksy autumn. What's mine going to be? So. A man raking leaves. Way to be disappointed. Yeah. No. I like the numbers then. Numbers are key. Right. Um, so what cards about wine? I'm sorry, but so many wines, so little time. That just doesn't, that's, I could be wrong, but that does not sound grammatically correct to me. Surely it's um, so much wine, so little time. Not so many wines. I don't know. So, anywho, that's a, uh, that's just frustrating. That's Joreen Jones, but that annoyed me. Doesn't, doesn't sound right to me. I've got an, a chicken apron. I put it in the picture, Kerry. Uh, by Lucy Heaton. Uh, an autumn scene through a window. Wouldn't say that was overly autumn, but you know. Oh, I suppose a couple of the trees are turning. as a basket of apples. Final part in the my st stitch along thing they were doing. I love that bit at the bottom there with the giant poppy in the door and stuff. There we go. So that's what it looks like, the full thing. Um, what we got? There's a key. Uh, Stitcher Spotlight is spider webs. I like to make covered buttons with beads and uh, how to do the what are they called? I like the wagon wheel. The sp I know them as ribbon roses, but they've obviously done them as spider webs. So wooden heart designs. It's quite nice actually. I've got one of those wooden hearts knocking about. So actually, I think Lottie's got it. But there we go. Um, Next Alice is the Cheshire Cat. Apparently this is one of the easiest ones in the cross stitcher group. It's probably due to the lack of um, back stitch on it. Will that be it? That will be it. So they've got next month it will be Colourful hoops for Christmas, and then there's part. Those are the cover kit, uh, the freebies at the bottom. The cover kits, should I say? Because essentially they're not free. You're paying for them in the cover price. So there we go. That's cross stitcher issue three sixty two. Um, now, as I forgot a giveaway, well, as I hadn't planned my giveaway for. My floss tube anniversary because I'm a slacker. Um, we've got a quick um, some uh, a chart here. It's a bit. I mean, I'm sorry. This one is a bit battered, but it's four seasons varies. There's two of them across the top there. Um, has got quite a heavy fold line in it. They sit there. Oh, it's the. I tell you who they're designed by, but I don't know. Not a clue who they're designed by. But 
but essentially the two illustrations and then the two stitch ones are the four fairies so just tell me you'd like to stitch the fairies and we'll post that to, and i'll post that to you i post anywhere in the world be over, don't don't be over, be over 18 don't mention giveaway um and i'll draw for that next time when i launch my big flush tube anniversary extravaganza i'm sad, i'm making it way bigger than it's going to be but it'll be fun and that's what we'll do so thanks for all your lovely comments on my stitch with me uh we still it's still got early um early days we're still a bit of teething trouble uh i've got my next tag I've tag done um i've come up with some questions on my own and i also found uh a tag that joe vintage chic stitcher did um so but hers has got about 30 questions so and mine's got 19 a couple of them overlap but we'll i'll probably do it in two parts cross stitch confessions part one cross stitch confessions part two um so i've got a cover stitch from me uh planned uh coming up uh I still haven't done my black work focus. Uh, that will happen eventually. Um, shout if there's anything else you want to see on my channel. Um, I'll see whether I can accommodate. Uh, oh yes, my big November plans. I'm going to have new start November. I'm very good at not starting things. I don't get start -itis. Well, I rarely get start -itis. But November, I'm just moving everything out of the way. Um, but I decided this November... This is my this is my kitted up bucket tin tray. This is being uh, these have all been kitted up in here for most of the year. So I am going to start. My plan is to get my whip count up to twenty. That is my comfortable number. Um, I've got twelve things in here to start. I have well there's, there's a couple more than 12 but we won't there's a um, there's a couple that I'm like yeah that's fine don't worry about those uh, so there are 12 things in there that I want to start out of about 15 and I am going to if I can get my whip count down to 8 I can start all 12 if not then I'll start somewhere between 8 and 12 of them um, I've got coffee drinkers confession I've got um, Another one of the home for the holiday ones, stockings that I'd like to do. There is the uh, sleeping uh, quilting bee. I've got all sorts of things in there that I'll give it. Oh, why is that not? There we go. It's better. Yeah, so there's all sorts in there that I will I'll go through it another time. Um, so, but I'd like to get. So oh, I'm, I can't speak now. Hopefully, if I can get the four whips that I'm going to concentrate on are, I'd like to get the Stone Street Stitchworks um, MLK sampler done. I, so that's why it's my daily 30 piece. I'd like to get Alice caught up. Alice is kind of my caveat because I can't finish that until December. But if I can get caught up uh, on uh, with the releases <laughs> there are, so I've got six yeah if I can get this so that'll be six I'll need to do five I can't I can get that out I'm going to need to do six seven I'll need to do seven of them which is fine because there are seven Saturday seven weekends between now and the start of November I think I'm going to go with that seven um which is, means it's possible um I that'll I'm going to count that as that's fine because this will be done for Christmas uh, what were my other two? My festive little fob, so I'd love to get that one done. That's, that's only got 500 stitches left in it, so that'll be out. I think I might even be getting that one done this month for one of my stitch group challenges. And I had a fourth one, and I don't know what it is. Uh, let's have a quick look. Oh, and the mischief manage that I'm going to start, and I'm going to get finished apparently. So, uh, Alice. Because the other ones are massive, I have, I have four very five, not four very. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyway, that's my plan. Can I do it? I don't know. I definitely didn't put the camera back in, right? Did I? After I, my phone fell out the tripod. Anywho, uh, have a great stitching fortnight, friends, and I will see you all um, 
next week for something or other. I don't know what it's going to be off the top of my head um, because my notes are in the other room. Not going to be a stitch with me, probably. So until uh, next week, friends, take care. Happy stitching. Have a great stitchy fortnight. Friends in the West Coast, please stay safe. Please, um, you know what you need. I, I, you know more than I need, than I will ever know about the situation out there. So uh, what can I say? I'm just thinking of you all um, and sending out love and best wishes and yeah. So take care and I'll see you all in a fortnight or in a week. You know what I mean. Happy stitching friends. Bye bye. <laughs>